Hello guys, my name is Brahim Mansa Colon. Today I'm here with uh, with a young man called Mr. Colinios. Can you briefly introduce yourself to the audience? Yeah, what's going on everyone? Uh, my name is Cornelius. Um, I'm a resident manager. I'm an entrepreneur and you know, I'm a follower of Christ. And I'm here to motivate people and making sure that everyone, you know, definitely can be encouraged and not, you know, be settling for less, you know? Exactly. Always want to be better. So. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank, thank you for that quick introduction. I believe you have uh, an enterprise, a venture. Is it a non-profit organization that you have or is it a for-profit organization? It's a non-profit organization. Okay, can you briefly talk about your nonprofit organization? Okay, so um, I have a nonprofit organization called Toronto Prospect Elite Basketball. And um, I created this organization because I believe that youth can achieve opportunity through sports. I believe that, um, like, like, for how I grew up, I never had no one really to um, to open opportunities but play ball, right? And that was that was a problem. Like I knew about ball, but I never had a skill. So I felt like I could open a basketball organization that can provide um, skills to young men in the community, to young youth and student athletes that can um, help them in their endeavors when they are you know, out there in the in the world, because at the end of the day, um, no one's going to do it for you, right? So um, through my experiences and my life struggles, um, I came a long way, to be really honest. So uh, Toronto Prospect Elite is is there to, to be there to give back, to, you know, to help youth understand that um, you don't have to make it in the NBA to, to open a basketball program. I wanted to change a different, to change the game because I, I thought about it like they're not doing it in schools where they're teaching young youth about financial literacy or mental health awareness. Like you have to go to like community hubs or like center for that. So I thought about like becoming a ball organization that provides those things to young youth in the community. Wonderful. So wow. That's, that's, that, that was basically why I created this. Yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you. Do you find meaning, like purpose, in terms of working with young people? Like, what do you oh. want to give back to them? What What do you want to contribute? Well, like, so, oh, oh, for sure. Like, I want to give back definitely a, a sense of thought of knowing that you can do it, okay. no matter where you're from, right? At the end of the day, I've been through ups and downs. You know, I've been depressed, I've been oppressed, you know, I've been pressured, you know, I've been in a situation that I never wanted to be in, you know what I mean? I have caused mistakes in my life, you know, I'm not perfect, but like, I wanted to, sh I want to give back to the community in a way that, like, you know, I grew up just like you, but I, I'm not famous, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm just a person growing up in a community thinking of becoming great, but creating opportunities and also jobs for people in the community too. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about giving back and creating opportunities for other families and for other people to feed their family. And they can learn from and they can um, branch off of me and, and take it uh, on their own journey, you know? So that's the goal for me, is to make sure someone leaves, I, I leave someone with the intention of that they can do it and getting Absolutely. it done this leads me to another mm -hmm. question regarding uh, the skill traits you know especially um to get our young people involved in in different skill traits and um what, what's, your, right. what's your advice on that well it's like my program offers skill trade opportunities meaning i'll have different workshops that will help youth um learn how to do like plumbing work mastering and painting and little things like that, that will help provide them to, to learn a skill. I think it's very important in today's time for a lot of young youth to learn these things because 
it's it's a part of survival and also it's a part of you know becoming independent you know what i mean not depending on a company or a man or someone to help you you can just figure it out and do it your own you know so Absolutely. i think that the, the skill trades for young people um is is important it's good it's also beneficial because you you can use that to teach somebody else right and it, it's it, and it just goes down right it, that person passes it down to that person that person passes it on to that person. But when you grow up in a, in, in a poor situation, like, you know, when you grow up poor in a sense, like you don't have nothing. Yeah. You want better. You want better. The way yeah. how you want better, you want to show people on a certain level that it doesn't matter, like, what you have. And this is what put fair to people because they don't have the money. They can't do it. Yes. There's ways to do it, man, but it's you have to have the determination and the the, the faith and the ability to, to 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 figure it out. Trust me, you know what I mean. At the end of the day, when you believe in yourself, when no one will, you see things. But if you don't believe in yourself and have people don't believe in you, you're just falling short. So I just I I believe that things take time whether it's learning a new skill in trade, whether it's learning about doing your taxes, it takes time. Some people are fast learner than others, but you grow into something that you can create off, right? Because someone can be t- like someone who grew up in the, in a rough neighborhood um, can become a financial advisor Absolutely. later on in time, right? Yeah. Due yes. to, right. Due to the, due to the, um, the, the the stigma that goes around his community, he would be that type of person to say, let me be this person to, to help someone else that I grew up, that's going to grow up just like me in the future, right? So I'm just, I will just prepare myself um, to create something to, to, to provide and to leave back as a legacy. It's not about who you are, you know, at the end of the day. It's about what you can do, what, what kind of value you can add to another person's life. Talk about generational wealth, wealth creation in the black community. Mm-hmm. I feel like, I feel like it can happen. Like yes. wealth within the black community can happen, but it just depends on the idea, right? And then, mm-hmm. and then it depends on the income of what people are making, right? Yes. And then, and then once the calculation is done with that, we can that uh, that can help that that can be a, a beneficial, I guess, mm, budget uh, type of thing for them because once you have a wealth chain in the community, yes. and everybody's building off of it. It cannot be stopped. The only way it can be stopped if you have someone else to jump in it that's that's against it. Yes. That's the only way. And then you would have to go to court. Law, like so many things would have had to happen. That would have been like a it would have been a legal case for sure. But it could happen, but you just have to have the idea. Everybody has a center in their community, a youth center or a job center, and that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. But what is the last thing you ever heard uh heard of a, a youth agency? So only young people can go to that agency from 14 to 21 and get jobs. No one above that age. Hmm. And they're guaranteed, they're guaranteed jobs that that schools would partner with companies with like co-op yes like so you have to use your head you have to know how to like when you have the brain you can you, you can put anything together king and, and create a, a create success for for any community Absolutely. you just have to have the right person to speak and you, you'll know how well, you'll trust me and they'll trust me that will go that will go absolutely you, you know like i'll say what i'm doing right now i'll be honest with you right now 
my basketball organization, Toronto Prospect Elite Basketball, um, for me as the CEO, uh, before I created this uh, organization, I wrote a film mm. called 416. All right, um, this film is been written, I worked for like six years now. Wow, wow. Six years ago, I started this film. It's still, it's, it's still scripted. Mm. So at any time that vision can go out, it will still be good because it's not stale. Yes. All right? Yeah. So right now, that's in progress right now. I'm working on a, on a, on a film project right now, an animation project for the, um, for the, for the city of Toronto in terms of helping youth in our community um, not stress through mental health awareness yes. and also show them a different side of, of black excellence, yes. right? And I want to show it that I came from the gutter just like you. Well, I put I, ha, I had put my time into being very, very creative on anything that I wanted to do that I had a, uh, an idea of. Yes. So, but a lot of people don't, a lot of people make people crash their ideas and mm. they don't do it. Wow. Low That's... self-esteem or that person might be jealous of that person. So saying, you know, I don't think it's a good idea. Mm. I don't think it's going to work. Why would you tell somebody that, right? Mm. But you have to take these things. This is why young people stop what they're doing. Mm. They, they're always on, like, everybody's always on that bridge to go. Yes. And the moment the bridge is lifting up, it's like, wow. Mm. Like, because the bridge lift, because the bridge is lifted up, you're still going to go. You're not going to wait and then think about it. Think. And this is why we, we, we lose focus on what we want to do. Mm. Because if you keep going and you don't stop and think, you'll lose detail on what you're creating. Mm. All right. So it's, it's very important to, to have time for yourself to think, meditate, pray. If you're religious, pray. Like, mm. you know what I mean? Um, for me, I, I pray. Like, I know everybody in this world has a weakness, man. Trust me. Yes. No one is perfect. Yes. Even the richest man in the world has a weakness. Yes. You know absolutely. what I mean? But it doesn't mean it doesn't it doesn't mean that you are a monster of a, a person. It doesn't yes. mean that like it doesn't mean that you're not great. Yes. It just means that you have a weakness in life. Yeah. Right. And I think people use their weakness as something to not push forward. Yeah. You can't. Mm. You have to understand that while you're pushing forward, your weakness slowly stops. Mm. You know what I mean? If you keep getting angry right away, your weakness is getting quick, mad quick. Mm. As you progress into what you're doing into your goal, the, the intentions of you getting mad is, is, is very less. Mm. Because you have more important things on your mind yes, than yes. to get mad. That's true. All right? So That's it's logic, B. It's yep. logic. You know, I'm not a perfect man, though. Like I said, Absolutely. I have issues yes. right, that I'm still working on. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that you still can't change another person's mind to yeah. become great. Absolutely. And I don't want nobody to forget that. I think a lot of people use that as a as a as a as a blockage. Yo, mm -hmm. man, yo, I'm not where I want to be. No. You're where you want to be right now, because if you're not where you want to be, God, you would have been dead. <laughs> God would have took you out. Yeah, yeah. Right? So it doesn't yeah. matter if you're broke. It doesn't matter if you don't have it. You're where you want to be right now because you have life. Yes. Right? Either way, you're not where you want to be because you're not working on it. Mm. Simple. Work on it. Absolutely. You used to go to bed early. Go to bed 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. Mm. Or go to bed late. Work on your business. Work on your plan. Yeah. These kids, let me tell you this right now. When you grow up in, in the neighborhood, it's either you're a baller, you're mm. you're, you're an artist, you're a gangster, or you're someone great. Yes. Or you're or, or, or a community activist or a leader, or whatever it might be, right? Yes. That's still somebody great. Yes. But 
are we doing enough? Hmm. Are, is, 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 is our black kings and queens doing enough for our young people to become great? Hmm. That's the question to ask. Yeah. Right? What's killing our young people to make our young people be against each other and fight against their own kind and kill off each other yeah. is social media. Hmm. Hmm. Bro, go on social media to watch documentaries. Why are you going to the uh, social media to watch or to hear someone shoot an ex-man? <laughs> wow, Where do you, wow. how do you get smart? Where do you get, like, that's what I'm saying. And then these are the people who have kids, eh? These mm. are the people who go there and have kids and wow. they're not even like, right, they're still a kid. Yes. It's yeah. crazy. But time to die, there's a time to be born. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's a, like, you know, there's a time to win, there's a time to lose. Absolutely. There's a time to have the money. There's time to be broke. Yeah. Yeah. You life know what I mean? Season. That's but true. if you don't look at life as this, right. If you don't look at this, if you don't look at life as this too shall pass. Yes. You'll always stay stuck in the past. Mm, that's so true. never move. Wow. 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 What a powerful insight. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your perspective in life. Right. We, we, I know we discussed a lot about like different topics, you know, um, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time, your insight, and um, your passion that you have for young people. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just, just we need we need people more like you. We need people like you who are standing up because that's what leaders leaders are all about. Leaders, you don't have to be, you don't have to be born in a leadership family to be a leader. What, what leadership is? People who have a desire to make a difference in the lives of other people, and and that's what you are. You know. It doesn't matter your age, it doesn't matter your status in life. As long as you have something that God has put in you to say, you know what? I want to make right. a difference. Even if you can just touch one person's life goes a long way. You might not touch millions of people. Sometimes we think that in order for us to be leaders, to make a change, we need to be famous. We need to be popular or we need to have five million followers. No, one person is good enough. 